there is a small but very loud community claiming the earth is flat, and that the sun and the moon are very close. On a flat earth it should be a relatively easy task to confirm or disprove this with simple observations. The model claims the sun and the moon orbit about 5000 kilometers above ground. So let us test this with some observations and simple trigonometry. We make observations at midsummer, at noon GMT in the northern hemisphere, when we know the sun is directly over the Tropic of Cancer, shown here in a purple line. Our first observation is done in London, where we find the sun at about 179 degrees, and at 62 degrees elevation. This will put the sun directly over Borj Baji Mokhtar. Algeria. At an altitude of 5,859 kilometers. Our second observation is done in Jerusalem, where we find the sun at about 208 degrees, and at 81 degrees elevation. This puts the sun over Toshka Lakes in Egypt, at 6,367 kilometers altitude. The last observation is done in the Azores in the city of Ponte del Garda, where we find the sun at about 143 degrees, and at 73 degrees elevation. This places the sun off the coast of Dakla in West Sahara, at 7,394 kilometers altitude. Three observations of the sun from three different locations at exactly the same time, and we find the sun above three different places at different altitudes. If you continue to make observations you continue to get new locations and heights for the sun. There are something completely wrong with this model. On a globe this is however no problem, as all this observations point parallel straight to the sun, thus proving a globe, and a distant sun. Refraction above 45 degrees will be less than 1 60th degree. Refraction will not move the sun sideways. How is the sun at three different locations and heights at once? Why do we see the same face of the sun from all sides? Why is the sun upside down south of the equator?